Hi there, welcome back to Diamond Ridge Studios. In today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how I create a dark bay model horse. Okay, so before we get into the tutorial, I'm just going to go over the materials that you will need. Okay, so first things first, you're going to need some oil colors. I am using the Art Creation ones at the moment, but you really can use whatever kinds. I'm using the shades Burnt Sienna, Burnt Umber, and Ivory Black. And then you're also going to need some form of oil thinner. I'm using the Gamblin Galica Gel. And then to mix the oils on, you're going to need a couple pieces of tin foil. And then you're going to need some Mars Black in like an acrylic form. And I'm currently using the Liquitex. And then when you're working with oils, you're going to want to wear a face mask or whatever you like a surgeon's mask. I really don't know what these are called. Just to prevent you from breathing in the fumes from the oils. And you're also gonna wanna wear this when you're working with the pastels so you don't breathe in the pastel dust, as well as when you're matte spraying your horse. And then, so when you're matte spraying your horse, you're also going to want to wear some gloves. These are just surgeon's gloves, I'm pretty sure. And to matte spray your horse, you're going to want to use a matte spray. I'm currently using the Montana Varnish Spray in matte. And to mix the pastels in, you're going to want to have either like this is a jar lid or this kind of palette mixer with multiple little cups in it. For the pastels, I'm using the Faber Castell Large Soft Pastel Set. And so then you're also gonna to need to prime your model before you start this tutorial. So I recommend you use gesso or some form of white primer. Now onto the brushes. So we have a, a few brushes here, not that many. For the oils, I'm going to be using a Royal and Laniker half inch um, Zen brush. And you're also going to be using this Princeton angle shader quarter inch brush. And I'm also going to be using this Robert Simmons size zero round brush. And to mix all the oils together, I'm using a 5 8 Faber-Castell, just wide brush, I don't know. And then you're, I'm also going to be using a 8th inch angle shader from Princeton. Okay, and without further ado, let's just get right into the video. We're going to be taking the color Burnt Sienna, and we're going to be taking a little dot right there. You don't really need a lot, especially for a model of this size, because most of what you're going to be using the paint is going to be the Gal Kid gel or the oil thinner. About that much. And then you're just going to basically mix these two colors together. And then we're going to be taking our Royal and Laniker brush. We're just gonna be putting a small amount on the tip. If you're using a bigger model, you might want to add a bit more and then you're just going to start painting on the model. She has already been primed with gesso. You're going to want to prime your model before you start painting with oils. And so I'm just brushing this lightly on. Since she has texture added to her, it I don't really need to worry quite so much about brush texture, but if you're doing a very smooth model, that's something you have to think about. One more thing, we are going to be taking some ivory black and we're going a small dot there and mixing that with the Gal Kid to create the skin tones for her muzzle. A little bit too much. And you're just gonna mix that together. We are going to take the black that we mixed up and we're just going to lightly put a bit on the nose and we're just going to go over the areas where our skin would be showing. Okay, so now that that is done, we're just going to let her sit for a couple days until she is dry. Okay, so now she has her one layer on and she is dry. She has been drying for about two days now. We're moving on to our next layer. And we're just basically going to repeat. So we're going to take some of our Gal Kid gel. And we're going to put some right there. We're going to put a bit of this burnt sienna color there. And then we're just going to mix 
using our big brush and just mix them together so we get a nice color. Perfect. And now I'm just going to paint. So basically you're just going to go over the color that you just did and it's going to be a bit more orange and a bit darker and that's exactly what we want. to step three she has actually she's been drying for another two days and she is ready for darkening to begin so I'm just using a smaller brush than what I've been using and that is the Princeton quarter inch angle shader and so we're gonna be using our delicate gel again and instead of going into the burnt sienna color we are going to be taking the burnt umber since we aren't gonna be putting it all over her body we don't need nearly as much so I'm just going to be putting a tiny little squirt there. Okay, so we have that tiny little bit on there. We're gonna take our Gal Kit gel. There we go, about that much. Then I'm just gonna use this brush and I'm just gonna mix those two together. So we're just going to start up on her back because that's where the darkest part is going to be and we're just, you're gonna see that it barely comes up. It barely shows, which is exactly what we want. So basically we're done except we're going to go in now with our black and just darken up her legs. This layer is done. You can't really see it, but if you look very closely you can kind of see where it's shiny. It might not look like I did anything, but it does help in the end. Okay, so we're going to be starting out by using a lighter shade, like more of a reddish shade, so that we get the base for that down. And then we'll go in with some darker colors and make the, her back and neck and face and legs darker. Okay, so we're going to take, I don't know what any of these colors are called. You're just gonna have to kind of figure out what I'm talking about. So we're gonna take this like orangish kind of reddish orange almost brown shade. I do have some other companies. This is a Remembrant Burnt Umber color. We're also going to use some of that. And we're going to be mixing them in here. So first of all, you got to shave your stells into a powder. And you do that by just running your X-Acto knife or a blade over the block of pastels. And you want it to be really fine, so just take your time and eventually you'll get the right amount. So we're using about that much. This is just a lid of one of my jars. And now we're going to be taking the burnt umber, just sa shaving a little bit of that. Painting with pastels is really about mixing and it just you just have to mix for quite a while before you get the color you want. So I'm, and so I'm gonna be using the filbert to mix the color together. And so this is a bit too dark, so we're going to want to add more of our reddish shade. Just mix it and see if you like where it's at. And painting is really all about your own opinion, so my version of a dark bay might be lighter than your version of a dark bay, so just keep that in mind. This is still too dark. So we're gonna add more of the reddish shade. And you're just going to mix that again. So this is about where I want it, and so now we're going to just grab onto the model 
and just basically cover the entire model with this color, except do not do the legs or the mane and tail. Okay, so this layer is about done. So, as you can see, she's basically just kind of a pumpkin pie color. So that's about where we want her for the reddish shading. So then I'm just gonna go spray her outside of the camera. She has just been matte sprayed, or she was matte sprayed a little while ago, and we are ready for the next coat of pastels. And so one thing you have to remember with matte spraying is that you want to let them sit for, I let her sit overnight so that's about 12 hours. So just keep that in mind because they do really smell and it's bad for you to breathe in that. What I'm going to do before we get into doing the next layer of pastels is I'm just going to paint her legs or her lower legs black. So that way we have a good base to build upon. So I'm just going to be using the color Mars Black. I'm just going to put a little bit on my piece of tin foil. Just a little dot. Don't need a lot because we're not going to be putting it all over her or all over her legs. And then I'm just going to be using this angle shader from Princeton. It's a size, it's a 1 8. It looks like this. And I'm just going to dip it a little bit. You want to put about that much on your brush, depending on the size of your horse. So, and then I'm just going to paint the lower part of her leg. So you're not going to want to go too far above the fetlock because then the shading will look unrealistic. And if you were going to do a wild bay, you wouldn't do this, you would just shade the legs entirely with pastels. So now that her legs are Pretty good I'm just gonna let her dry and before we go in with the pastels because then the pastels will just stick and then you'll get a weird kind of blotchy coat on her legs okay so now that the paint has dried it is a lot later and we can start on our next pastel layer so I already shaved the pastels and so we're just going to be using since these are some darker colors we're just gonna be using the Princeton flat size 4 brush to mix them together. So I used some of this lighter brown shade. Looks about like this from the Faber Castell pastel set. And then I used this very dark blue color from that set. Or yeah, it's a set. And then this like kind of peachy orange color. And then some more of that burnt umber from the Remembrance set. Okay, and so I used, I don't really know how to put into words how much I use, so just look at this. It's about that. So this is the umber, this is the light brown, this is the blue, and then this is the oopsies, uh oh. Then like a little bit of the peach color. Okay, so now I'm just going to mix all that together, and then we're going to start applying it on the horse. Okay, so now we're going to take a little bit on our brush. And we're just going to start, remember the areas that we went over, so we're going to start on her back and very carefully use this, or this darker shade, to outline where we want it to be darker. As you can see, she's already getting that darker bay look to her. She has her areas outlined that we want to be bright and her darker areas kind of shaded in already. So now we're going to take that same pumpkin-y color that we used to do the first coat and we're just going to go over those brighter areas.
we're going to actually use, this is just some shaved black. And I'm just gonna put that a bit on her top line, which if you don't know what that means, is just like her back and the, bit, the top of her neck near the roots of her mane. You're just gonna to wanna to blend it out a little bit with your dark brown color that you mixed up. good for this shading and now we're going to go in with our black color and kind of blend out her lower leg points. So there we go that part is pretty much done now we're just going to take a little bit more of the black and go over the areas that we put the skin. And then we're just gonna go over some of the areas again with darker shades. This might seem like a lot of steps and layers, but trust me, the result is worth it. And I think we're ready for our spray. She looks like this. Okay, so this is what she looks like after that spray of matte. She looks pretty good. Just a couple little things that I want to clean up and then she'll be on to details. To start by using our pumpkin shade and I'm just going to clean up her highlights a little bit. And I'm actually going to take a little bit of this color that I've pre-mixed that is basically just this reddish orange shade and I'm just going to use that as a even brighter highlight. ready for our next matte spray and hopefully the last one for the pastels. <laughs> 